Psalm 30 verse 5. Psalm 30 verse 5. For his anger endured but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping men endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. Proverbs 13 verse 12. Proverbs 13 verse 12. Hope deferred make the heart sick. But when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sit down as one that is in charge. If you are weeping before the end of today, you have reasons to testify. From demonic delay to testimonies. From demonic delay to testimonies. There is somebody here this morning whose life will never remain the same after this short message. If you are that person, let your amen be the loudest. If you are that person, let your amen be the loudest. If you are the one, shout hallelujah. The prophecy concerning this morning message is that he will surprise us with over those of his blessings. To defer is another word for to delay. To defer. Any hope deferred as a result of certain delay shall receive deliverance this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In Genesis chapter 19, there was somebody there that was asked to depart from a place. But the spirit of delay held him down until final destruction. Genesis 19, verse 15 and 16. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lord, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Look at verse 16. And why he lingered, the men, why he delayed, why he lingered, the man laid upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters the Lord be merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him without the city why he lingered why he delayed tell your neighbor I will not linger unto destruction Deuteronomy 2 from verse 1 to 3 then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea as the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mansia many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, You have compassed this mountain long enough, turn you northward. You have compassed this mountain long enough. They were roaming about. They were roaming about. There are some people, every year they go around circles. But today, God is going to handle such cases. Some they are not even the cause. Some things they can't explain are behind it. But today, God will take care of those things. There is somebody here whose life will never remain the same. After this message, if you are that one, lift your hand and shout a loud amen. amen. If you go to Matthew 25, Matthew 25 from verse 8 to 10, it talks about the wise and the foolish virgins. The delay caused by they are not acquiring extra oil made the door to be shut against them. It made the door to be shut against them. I decree by the decree of heaven. I prophesy every delay, every stagnation, limitation that the enemy has planted to stop your testimony. I scatter it today in the name of Jesus Christ. I scatter it today in the name of Jesus Christ. What is delay? What is delay? Delay means to hinder, to linger, to hinder, to prolong, to postpone until later date. To confine to the waiting room of life. You know that this is supposed to come now, but something is delaying it, whether you are the one or nothing is behind it. To detain, to suspend, to withhold, to slow down. That's delay. To slow down. That is why we keep telling people that any dream you have, where you are picking snails, don't joke with them. Snail represents delay, slow movement. I pray that God is going to give you wisdom. I pray that God is going to give you wisdom and power spiritually that when things happen, you will know what is behind them. I have come to this service today to release grace into your eyes. 
to release grace into your senses. Amen. That when things are happening, you don't just see them from the physical. You try to know from the spiritual to the physical. I prophesy over your life today. In that name that is above our name, I release what I call Holy Ghost spiritual anger. Amen. Inside you that you will not tolerate nonsense from today. Amen. Starting from the receive the grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you dream of seeing tortoise, tortoise in the dream, don't just joke with your dreams. Tortoise in the dream, you see snails. Snails, you see tortoise. You don't joke with them. You don't joke with your dreams. They are terrible dreams. Any dream you find yourself climbing a mountain or a house and you can't get to the top, you are falling or holding things not to fall. Don't joke with those dreams. You find yourself in primary school while you are in secondary or university. You find yourself in secondary school while you are finished secondary school you get doing business. And you find yourself in secondary school. Don't joke with such dreams when you wake up. Don't say they don't matter. What, what does that mean? You find yourself going to your own house. The staircase to your house is no more the one you are seeing. You are not seeing another one constructed by who you don't know. And you are trying to climb. It's difficult. It's as if it's going to break. And you wake up and say, oh, thank God it's not this one. Thank God it's not what? Do something immediately and cancel it. Any dream of such, don't joke with that. You are running, running. You are just within a circle. You find yourself running, you can't lift your leg. And you are running, you are within a circle. You are running. Look at where you are going to be. Push yourself, you cannot. You lie there, you want to get up to shout. You cannot shout. You are doing, ah, ah, ah. Don't joke with those dreams. Don't see them as ordinary dreams. There are some people who are aggressive in the physical. In the spiritual, they are toys. May God not make you a toy in the realm of the spirit. It's better you are aggressive in the spirit than in the physical. Some people are aggressive here, but in the realm of the spirit, they convert you to a toy. So when they finish with you there, physically you'll be dancing to their tune. But from today, you'll be in charge, both spiritually and physically. I prophesy over your life. Any arrow that been sending to your life, to your family, to your career, to your business, I prophesy back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender. Anything they have done against you, I prophesy back to sender, back to sender. I don't know what they have stolen from you. But I've come to announce to you that today, today, they are returning them by fire and by thunder. By fire and by thunder. If you really shout your aim very loud. You must understand how important your destiny is. Destiny is a function of time. And destiny is an interest of God. It's also an interest of man and Satan. It's an interest of God because that is why he created us. For our destiny to shine. It's an interest of man because man wants fulfillment. It's an interest of the devil, so they target their destiny. It's an interest of the devil, so they target it. That is why they trouble people's destiny. They trouble people's destiny. That's why when the devil sees that he cannot stop you or destroy you completely, he delays your blessing. He has seen that this person is sophisticatedly connected. I can't destroy him. I can't destroy her. I can't stop their blessing completely. Let me delay it and discourage them. And see if they will take a wrong step. So I can come in. With the hope that you will be discouraged and get destroyed at last. But when he looks at you and discover this one. Because it has a limit. If it's to delay you, it has a limit. God must set a limit. I say you can't cross this. And when God wants to reward you after the delay. It is overdose he gives to you overdose i decree that you will not regret you will not regret at last you will testify at last i have a divine information for you this morning there are over two million angels here to pull you out and deliver you by fire and by force anywhere they put you there about two million angels to pull you out and deliver you by fire and by force let me give you about seven to eight different types of delay I'm going to handle now. There is only one delay that is good, and that is divine delay. That's number one, divine delay. There's a kind of delay you have. God is trying to stop something from happening to you. God is trying to stop something. God is trying to delay, to stop something from happening to you. That is positive delay. 
They plan something against you, but God will use one six them to stop you. He will use one method to stop you. Sometimes God may want to clear some enemies around you who want to contend with their destiny. And God will clear the road. Today, I prophesy, God will clear the road for you this morning. Amen. If you will shout at amen very loud. Amen. Number two, other types of delay are negative. The second one is what I call the one that happened to Lot. He, he caused it himself. The Bible said he lingered. The Bible said he lingered. Genesis chapter 19. He lingered. Personal delay. Like Lot. Personal delay. He lingered. He was one that caused it. He lingered. Number three. Programmed delay. Programmed. They know that they are going to testify. It could be from your family, the evil author, or from our side. They will program it to delay you. But if you are sophisticatedly connected, no kind of delay will last. It's just for a moment. And God will take over. Number four is inherited delay. If you check your family, it happened to this one, happened to this one. Now you inherited it. If it's an inherited delay, it can be broken easily. It can be broken. You separate yourself from that collective activity. And that's exactly what we're going to experience today. Number five, prosperity and progress delay. Prosperity and progress. You're making progress, but something happens along the line. There is a kind of delay. You know that it's before you, but it's just to capture it. After today, everything that I've delayed our progress, our prosperity, in a name that is above a name, those things will be cleared out of the road and they will locate us in the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you're a businessman, a career person, this morning, in a name that is above our names, our breakthrough, our progress, our testimonies are locating us in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Number six is witchcraft delay witchcraft delay every power they are using against you from the witchcraft world or marine witchcraft in a name that is above them today such powers will backfire yeah. i said they will backfire yeah. they will backfire yeah. if you believe that shout your amen loud yeah. they will backfire yeah. if you believe that shout your amen loud yeah. shout it loud yeah. a louder amen Number seven, marital delay. These are things God's going to handle today. Marital delay. To be handled today. Any kind of marital delay, you're getting married, the devil wants to delay the marriage, or you are married, the blessings, the devil wants to delay it. No, 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 no. After today, we shall swim in testimonies. I said we shall swim in testimonies. And whatever they have done against our marriages, not to marry or not to have children, it will backfire today. If you believe that, shout at amen loud. Amen. And the last one, evil dedication, covenant and causes delay. Evil dedication. Evil dedication. Covenant and causes. Evil dedication. Some people were born and they were dedicated. Do you know some people come to church for dedication? And some people, before they come to church for dedication, they've taken them somewhere. They go to the family shrine. They say, it's a normal thing in our family. It's a normal thing. We did to everybody. It's a normal thing. They will go to the shrine in the family, present the child first. After presenting the child, they will bring the child to the church. Some, after bringing the child to the church, they will still go to the family shrine to present the child. That's evil dedication. Even when the child grows up tomorrow and turns to something else, you will know what happened. Evil dedication, evil covenant and causes, they are today destroyed. Most delays in good things are sponsored or programmed by enemies or destinies. Most delays in good things are not all just God. Some are sponsored by enemies of a breakthrough. But today, when you begin to suffer postponement of blessings in good things, just know that the hand of the devil is there. If God is not the one doing it to stop you, if God is not the one doing it to make things better for you, you will be surprised. A young man was looking for a child for years. And the child did not come. But he was committed in the things of God. So committed. So committed. And he was the first son. But there was a covenant when they were fighting their family. When they were fighting the family and the father had no much money to fight back. The father went to a priest. A demonic priest. And presented a case to the demonic priest. And the demonic priest said... I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. But when your first child gives birth, if your first child gives birth within the first 
10 years. The first 10 years. Is it that the child, the wife, or your son? I will take one. He said, don't take my son. Don't take my son. Please, don't take my son. It's okay. I will not take your son. Now, the first two children, or the first two wives, your son will marry, I will take. He said, that one is okay. And they sealed it in covenant, unknown to the boy. The boy got married, four years, no child. Five years, no child. And he was committing the things of God. Seven years, no child. Eight years, and the father was disturbed, troubled, everything. When it was nine, no child. Ten, he was worried. No child. And he would go to church, the pastors would pray and say, all is well. You go to hospital, the doctors will check and say, all is well. Then what is happening? They don't know they are waiting. They never knew that God allowed that divine delay to save him. Let the 10 years expire. It's not difficult for God to expire it in two years. But God wanted the father to be alive and testify. After the 10 years, the father called. The father called the son. He said, go and call your pastor. Go and call your pastor. He said, Daddy, for what? He said, call your pastor. Before I will die, call your pastor. He called the pastor, and the pastor came with two other pastors. When they were talking, the pastor demanded two other pastors would come in. They came in. They were in the room. He said they should go to his room. They went to his room. He said, ask your wife to go. And the wife went out. The man began to confess. In the process of doing that, the pastor demanded that the wife should come. And he allowed the wife. He said, she'll start again. He said, look at what he did. In the course of doing this, he made this vow. And I've been living in fear. And he loved the wife so much. The, the father-in-law loved the wife so much that any time he looked at the wife, he would start crying. That day, he had to open up. Because the first 10 years has expired. And he was to go and renew it. He said, never. That if you perish, you will perish. And pastor stayed there and broke the yoke. Destroyed it. Brought the man out of the covenant. They destroyed it. And as I talk to you right now, the woman is pregnant eight months. Eight months pregnant. The yoke has been broken. The yoke has been broken. And it was then he told them that, he told them that the first three months, look at the sign, you see, something will come to the window and will cry all night the next morning. Then when it gets to six months, the thing will come back again and cry for two days. And nobody will find it. It will cry. But the lady passed the first three months, nothing came. Passed the second three months, six months, nothing came. And nothing will come again. I prophesy over your life. Anything they did against you, they say it will last for seven years. I say no today. I bring it to an end today. Yeah. The father did not have any evil intention to go and do that. But his intention turned out to backfire. Turned out to be a problem to two people, except the son. It's also a problem to the son. After marrying the first one, getting to marry the second one, people will talk. I prophesy today, whatever that is holding you, whatever covenant your mother or your father made, and they cannot say it today, they are afraid to say it because when they say, you may, you may be angry with them or say what, and they are afraid. They know that something is wrong somewhere. Ah, I sit on this altar. I prophesy. Whatever they did against you, against your home, I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Your family is free. Your family is free. Your family is free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout fire. Shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout fire. Shout fire. I prophesy. Starting from today, you shall be in charge. You shall be in charge. You shall be in charge. If you are shout at me loud. Shout at me loud. Shout at me loud. Do you know that difficulty for destiny helpers to locate you is a problem? Difficulty for destiny helpers to locate you. They want to locate you, they cannot. 
when you begin to suffer retardation in your business and career, that's the money delay. If you're having repeated sickness every time, hatred by people who are supposed to help you, they are hating you, is a problem. You are standing for people, that's the worst thing. You are standing for, if the enemy wants to destroy you, let me show you something. Two pastors, come. Come, come, come. Come, come and say here. Come and say, let me tell you what's going to happen now. You, you, you should go that side. You go this side. Yes. I'm standing for, I'm standing for him. I'm standing for him. Pastor Prof, come. I'm standing for Pastor Fortune. And this one is praying for me to stand for him. I have not come for him. I have not come for him because he has been desiring I should stand for him. But I've been investing my time praying for him. I'm praying for him. He's supposed to see it as a privilege to love me with everything. And when you have tried to come to me, and it's not easy, he has tried, you come. And when you come, you go to him and tell him something against me. Even though I've not done anything. Tell him everything, every evil in this life. Every evil. And as you have told him he has accepted, now I'm praying for him, you turn your back. Turn your back. You begin to speak against me. Go to him. Every prayer I will pray will hit your back. It will no longer come to your front. When it hits your back, it bounces back to me and goes to another person. Am I communicating? I prophesy today. Every mistake is forgiven. But starting from today, you will possess a possession by wisdom. You will possess a possession by wisdom. If you are shut your amen loud. Someone was seeking for solution. I go to the most serious problem. You are seeking for fruit of the womb. I am looking for solution where there is no solution. Have you gotten to a level what you call delay? You don't know that God is involved. He brings bitterness. I begin to talk. May the prayer of your prophet not bounce your back. May not hit your back. You have been facing him, waiting for a result, and the result is coming. Somebody tells you, or you begin to imagine, and you turned. He bounces to your back. I prophesy over your life. Starting from today, you will not make the mistakes of yesterday. You will learn from the mistakes of yesterday. If you really shout at Amen loud. Until you have Christ in your life, no matter your excellent record and success, you are a vanity. Therefore, pray this prayer aloud in order to be saved. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died to save me and you were raised up from the dead. Dear Jesus, come and live in my heart. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I am now born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Come worship with us at Royal Choice Ministries. Number 10, Alaito Ushinaga Street of Agboyu Road, Alakwere Kitu, Lagos State, Nigeria. Thank you for watching and remain blessed.